My next guest, a Trump-backed Republican who finished second in the California gubernatorial primary Tuesday, facing off against Democratic Gov Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom this November. Joining us tonight, the winner of the Republican nomination, the Republican candidate for governor of California, John Cox. Uh, it is a delight to have you with us, and you embrace... It's great to be with you, uh, Lou. Uh, and I want to tell you, by the way, there's a lot of capitalists in California. I'm one of them. Yeah, well, and it's good to hear. Uh, yeah. And you're facing, what is it, a 20-point deficit in registration, though, throughout the state. Uh, but when you, you finished, what, was it three or four points short of uh, Gavin Newsom, the Democrat? Yeah. So, I sure. mean, that's extraordinary. Uh, and it has to, uh, well, fill your heart with, uh, with confidence as you look toward the midterms, because you've overcome much. What's a little more? Well, and what fills my confidence is that Gavin Newsom has told us, Lou, that he's going to double the state income tax, he's going to increase property taxes, and he's going to try to make sure that we don't repeal the gas tax, which has driven our gasoline over $4 a gallon and plunged the working class people of this state into poverty, that just can't continue. And I think people are just going to reject the socialist ex-mayor of uh, San Francisco. Well, your performance in this race, you were given no credit whatsoever for uh, being able to win uh, the Republican nomination, to be second in that race in, in the, uh, what, the socialist stronghold of America. I know there are a lot of capitalists, including yourself, but look at this. I mean, to come to that point to be second in that race. And Gavin Newsom said something that I thought, one of those things that you think, you know, be careful yeah. what you ask for. He, he tweeted out, you know, looking forward to the president campaigning as many times as he wants in the state of California. I, I had to believe that you were thinking that was a pretty good idea. Well, I do. And I talked to the White House today, and we're going to get the president here. You know, he... Gavin Newsom wants to talk about President Trump, and my answer is that that's what a craven politician does. I'm a businessman like the president. That politician, Newsom, doesn't want to talk about the incredible tax burden in this state. He doesn't want to talk about the cost of housing, which has led 46 percent of Bay Area residents to want to leave the state. He doesn't want to talk about the lousy schools we're spending billions on that are 45th in the country. He doesn't want to talk about the lack of water. Jerry Brown this week said that we're all going to be limited to 55 gallons a day because they've been tearing down reservoirs instead of building them. He doesn't want to talk about the lousy, crowded roads with full of potholes or the homeless living in our streets, Lou. This is ridiculous mismanagement. We need a business person to turn this state around and get good management practices here. And, and it sounds like a, a good, healthy dose of common sense would also uh, be in advance. I, you, you talk about raising tax. It seems to be the Democratic way right now. They want to raise taxes. They want to regulate, uh, despite what President Trump is doing nationwide. Uh, they're seeing what's happening to the economy as he inspires a pro-success, pro-business, pro-capitalist uh, uh, agenda. For and, eight? and yet they want to take us back to the good old years of the Obama administration. For eight years, the Obama administration, anti-business, incredible regulations, tax increases, and business didn't want to invest. And I got to tell you, in here, in California, 9,000 businesses, Lou, have left this state in the last seven years. I have talked to small business people. I'm a small businessman. I have 100 employees in my business. And small business people all across this state have told me that they would move their businesses out of California if they only could. But, you know, car dealers, restaurants, right. farmers... They can't move their businesses. Silicon Valley, you know, is expanding, but they're expanding in Arizona, Nevada, Texas, other places. That can't continue or else we're going to have a hollowed out economy here. And uh, and I have to say, John Cox, I, I, you know, I just uh, I'm, we're, we're proud of you. I mean, you're defying odds you. and getting it done. Uh, my guess is the president will be excited about coming to California to support you. Uh, Thank you. And, and the decision uh, to support the Trump agenda, uh, I, I think, is a big lesson for everyone running for office. 
uh, whether it's state office or whether it's for Congress or the Senate. I, I think it's a, a lesson that they could learn from you. It's all about the private economy, Lou. I was a Jack Kemp uh, disciple. Right. Uh, uh, economic growth is the best path to prosperity. Uh, I, I started at the bottom. I had nothing. I had a single mom who was a school teacher in Chicago, and I got my own small business and made something of myself. I want every person in California to have the same kind of opportunities I did. The California dream right now is dreaming of moving to Texas. I want to restore the California dream so that everybody in this state has a wonderful opportunity to succeed and live an affordable, livable lifestyle. And we will when I win in November. Well, John Cox, we appreciate you being with us. Wish you all of the very Thank best. You. Thanks for joining Thank us. You, Come Lord. back soon. I will. John Cox.